Hi guys, John here with the um, ZMR 250 and I'm going to call this ZMR 250 1.5 and you'll see why because um, I've been following um, a video by BM's Web and he's got the um, he's had the ZMR 250 version 2 which looks to be a really nice frame and in fairness it is a really nice frame it's quality quality products um, <clears throat> the carbon quality is, is good well I will look at on my ZMR 250 um, the carbon quality is very good on, on the frame itself but the legs the legs are crap <clears throat> to be all fair the legs are crap these are three of the legs that are left from the original ZMR 50 frame I don't know if you can see but two of them are thinner than the others and the other one obviously were thin as well because that just crap smashed they're really flexy look bendy flexy the crap absolute crap that one's not too bad that one's not too bad but that is the thickest of the the three that are left <coughs> the, fray, the crap I don't know why I keep them for videos like this are supposed to show how crap they are anyway I decided not to get that frame because my friend got the frame and it is really good quality it's formal thick arms brilliant arms really good quality carbon on this build I'll be using the DYS 22 see what that is uh, 1806 1806 this time 2300 kV with the 5 mil bolt on top so no need for spaces lovely jubbly I'm calling it 1.5 because these arms are from the website where BM's web got his frame from and I'll put a link up for that because you can just buy the um, legs and the reason I only bought the legs was because I already had the frame <coughs> don't get me wrong the frame is good quality my only dislike was the power distribution board it's um, heavy it's a little bit weighty and all the outputs are for 5 volts and all I need a 5 volt for is here 5 volt out for my Nays. that's all I need 5 volt for this is a 12 volt out this is for my camera this is a 12 volt out this is supposed to be for the LEDs on this um, power distribution board but I use it for the Aonware video transmitter so that goes into my transmitter that goes into my transmitter obviously that's a battery the SCs need to be put onto there first <coughs> and what I'll be doing with this build is the ESCs, look at these, the DYS ESCs, SN20s, yep, they the weren't the bad batch, I got lucky, not like my friend, but that doesn't matter. These have been flashed with um, BL Heli, so I can use the one shot. I did a rebuild on a CGX20 for Blackbird Boy, we just um, put BL Heli, 14 firmware on that. He's using one shot and he's, he's pleased this punch, so I'm going to do exactly the same. I'll put a link up for BM's web, he shows you how to flash them, it's, it's quite easy. Now, the ESCs they're going in there. This spacer, it, I like green, it looks pretty, but it serves a purpose. I can get my ESCs in there, and I'm going to put my transmitter in there as well. Uh, radio receiver in there as well so that's out of way of the camera and it's out of way of the video transmitter so this is where we are so far now what I've done here is this is just a piece of plastic that's cut from the packaging that you get the D42 in Got the nares, got the nares, cut round it, 
drilled holes like that. <coughs> Stood this on four of these like this. Put it on the windowsill. Get that in shot. Put it on the windowsill and coated it with liquid tape. The reason for this is where we fly they're always cutting the grass so sometimes the grass is a bit wet and you might ditch sometimes in the long grass it's a bit hard to take off it'll try but it'll cut the grass and then what will happen is you'll get bits of grass that might cause a connection between the nares and the power distribution board because I normally put this power distribution board down here but because I'm putting the ESCs there because they're a nice fit down there I won't be doing that this time I'll be stacking stack the ESC board onto yeah, sorry stack the nares onto the ESC the wires are nice and tidy plus it just makes it a bit easier to get to the power distribution board should anything go wrong hopefully nothing will <coughs> that's it let me put that on top of there obviously the before okay, now so you get the general idea that sits on top of there nice and flush and that piece of board there stops any contact between the power distribution board or any arcing from there to there I have put all this together <coughs> what I tend to do is when I'm doing a build now instead of just going yeah I'll do that I'll do that I plan it all out I make sure there's enough clearance because I have my pins standing up this time so there's enough clearance from there to there with the pins there you see we've got the camera there let's remove this so we don't lose no pins let's solder that up next now this is um, no camera for me to try on this build it's a bit lighter and what I tend to do is remove this board so we'll go back to the power distribution board there naked <coughs> only thing that runs off this is the negative and the video signal wire and then that's connected to the 12 volts out and that connects straight to the camera the reason I've done this is because um, <clears throat> last flight I had to trouble with my camera and I've got spare cameras it's not that end. Here we go. And I, I, I do carry them as well. That's it for yesterday for some reason. This is another camera. It's a 12 volt camera. It's got a Mobius lens on it. Nice big wide angle. There we go. So I'm not out of action because I can't FPV. 